Hello, curvaceous. Hello, obnoxious. Don't tell me any of my friends have answered your wolf call. You'll find out. Well, okay, chum. So long as it isn't me. Ha ha! Lazy. Gee, honey, you had me scared. Are you all right? Uh-huh. I could see you from down below, and I tried to get to you, but they wouldn't let me up the stairs. Let me see. Did you get hurt much? No. They just hacked my hair to pieces. Oh, it doesn't look so bad. Hi, Butchie. <laughs> Maisie, they fired me. Oh, really? Well, it's a shame. I wouldn't worry too much. You'll get something else. Worry? I haven't got a cent. You mean you didn't put nothing by? How could I? I bought those new clothes. I wanted to look nice for Breezy. Breezy know anything about this? I'd rather starve than get him all upset. Well, you're not going to starve. But honest to Pete, Iris, you sure ask a lot of a person. Maisie, I'm leaving. Oh, no, you're not. I won't be a burden to you. Well, I've got to keep the room on anyhow. Yes, but you don't know. I'm back two weeks of my rent already. Two weeks? Well, you better pay up Ma. She makes a hard dollar out of this place anyhow. Here's 20. Look, I... Oh, skip it. But this just pays me up to date. Then there's this week and next. No, Maisie, I've made up my mind. I'll pay Ma the 20, though. But really, I've got too much pride to be a millstone around your neck. I'm going. Will it be your age? Where would you go? Don't worry about me. I'll manage somehow. Iris Reed lives here. Oh, Iris, this is for you. Thanks. Sign here. Mom. It's a money order. Okay. Uh, say, listen, where are you going with that? Pipe down. How you expect the guy to sleep? Oh, don't be quiet. Will you keep quiet up there? How are those day shifters going to get me rest?